All right, and we're live. Well, we'll soon be live. I'm gonna write a couple of messages up to the folks. Checked and yes, we are indeed live. So, um, I'll give it a few minutes. This is pretty last minute, so hopefully, you guys are starting to join up. <clears throat> but I'll go over a couple of base topics first. Now, feel free to ask questions anytime you guys actually have a question. <clears throat> uh, first, very first uh, topic here is if you no notice some of these parts are very, very shiny. Now that's because I've clear co coated them in a lacquer based clear coat. Now the whole um, panel line process works on the basis that the paints I'm using don't interact with one another. So here's an example of a of a part that I just panel lined not uh, a couple of uh, minutes ago before I started this. Now, if I move this up, you guys can see, hopefully, where you see that I panel lined this piece. It's black lining. And you see it's kind of messy. It's got like a little bit of um, paint overflowing in the areas here. So... <clears throat> How this technique works is I have a lacquer based paint on the bottom or even a lacquer based clear coat. Now you could also use an acrylic based clear coat. The important thing is that this is cured. Now enamel or, or sorry, lacquer or uh, alcohol or uh, water based products, like, you know, the acrylics, um, don't mix with oil based products so right here this is a Tamiya enamel paint now what I've used is, this is just regular black paint I've mixed this with uh, mineral spirits or you know your store-bought Zippo lighter fluid so you guys can pick this up at any smoke shop um, if you guys already smoke then uh, you probably have this stuff on hand um, this is oil based. <clears throat> so first thing I'm going to do here is, I mean, I've already kind of lined this, so I'm going to show you how this kind of works. So I'm going to take a little bit of lighter fluid and kind of douse my paper towel here with it. So it's a little wet. So if I wipe this across the surface, I'm not going to wipe away any of that clear coat or that paint because this is lacquer based product here and this is an oil based product so this will only affect the oil based product so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe across here and basically clean these lines up like so so hopefully you see how that worked Now this will start getting a little bit uh, gross. That's why you employ more and more paper towels. So all I'm doing is I'm wiping across. Now I don't want to wipe this direction because I'm wiping. I don't want to wipe along the line. If you wipe along the line, there's a chance that you might just wipe away that uh, panel line in there. So what I'm doing is I'm wiping across the panel line so that I'm just catching the 
top edges. And you can see how clean that panel line has become. And this is all playing with the chemical properties. <clears throat> now, as uh, Vipers noted, this, you know, smokers and whatnot, don't smoke while you're uh, panel lining. Um, you might have a happy accident. Yeah, no one likes happy accidents. So this is done. What I typically do when I panel line stuff is I'll panel line a bunch of things and I'll let it sit. Now, the reason being is because enamels take forever to dry. So, but then once it dries, it's going to be pretty hard to get off the part. But, I mean, I've left parts on for, or I left the enamel wash on there for a day, even two days, and I was able to wipe it off um, fairly easily. Um, if you let it sit there for a week, I don't guarantee that it'd be easier to wipe off because then it gets, you know, enamels uh, chemically bond and it's pretty strong stuff. So <clears throat> um, when you're panel lining, I usually panel line it, let it sit for an hour or two, maybe three hours, let it dry a little bit inside these lines here, and then wipe away the excess. That way I have less of a chance of a wipe away wiping away the panel line itself. Now, a lot of you guys have probably seen the Tamiya uh, weathering things, right? This looks very similar to those Tamiya weathering um, washes. Now, this is not Tamiya weathering wash. This is actually an old bottle of extra thin cement. Now, Tamiya will sell you these because it's, it's very cheap for them. You know, if you have excess bottles of uh, of cement, or even just an empty bottle that you could create your own panel line wash and just use a brush. So, I mean, I, I did this just for shits and giggles. This is because I had a spare bottle lying around. Cleaned it out, and now I'm using this as my uh, panel line applicator, just like that stuff that uh, Tamiya tries to sell you guys. And all it is is just dirt paint thinned down to, you know, a very, very liquid-like uh, consistency. If I pour some of this out, I'm going to attempt to do here, you'll see the consistency of this. Now, you want this to be fairly, I guess, best word would be inky or even liquid, liquid-like. So you see that... This kind of flows around in there. It's, it's a little, little bit thicker. Um, if you have it too thin, you're going to end up with a very, very thin panel line uh, solution. Now, typically, when you make when you mix up a batch of this stuff, clean off this brush, and um, I'm just going to grab a part here. See here, this part has nothing to panel line. That's great. I'm going to put this away. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab the bear guy body, right? So the, the bear guy body has a couple of panel lines down here, you see. So I'm just going to take the brush, load it up with a little bit of paint, and I'm just going to touch it to the touch it to the, to the body. Now, you see when I did that, let's see if I could get the lighting correct on this. So you can see better. So as I touch one of the edges, if you have this clear coated nice light nicely enough, this will just run along the edge, like so. You can see that it's kind of running down. Now you can also touch it again, or you could just paint it right in and be be messy about it. Let's do that. Let's, let's be a little bit messy about this. And I'm going to let this sit for the next, you know, 10 minutes or so, just to kind of give it some time to dry. Put that away. I'm going to clear off my brush because I'm going to stick to using my applicator here for, for this. Uh, going to do a little bit of quick cleanup here. Now, for cleanup, again, whoops. This is oil-based stuff, so I'm going to use lighter fluid. 
And this is cheap, cheap, cheap stuff. You can find at any liquor store or um, places where you buy your cigarettes, vape equipment and whatnot. Or you could, you know, go to um, go to some market, supermarkets, and you'll be able to find some of this stuff. So Marshall is on there. You're welcome, Marshall. And hopefully, um, this will sort of make sense. And if I go too fast, or if there's a step that you need to, you know, hey, tell me to hold the hell up, let me know because you know I'll stop and uh, we'll take this take this slowly. Again, you're messing with the basic principles of the chemicals. So I'm going to put on my trusty old man goggles so I can see better. <clears throat> and also, as I panel line, you guys can kind of see how this is going along. Now, there's really no panel lines on this guy. Well, kind of, but I'm just going to leave the head alone. Oops. I guess I could probably panel line the edge of this. Because there is an actual panel there. So let me kind of clean up my area first so I can get onto this. <clears throat> so I have my panel in wash. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to just touch the edges. Like so. Just gonna brush it along. Now I'm gonna try not to be messy, but I'm not gonna really worry too much about staying in the lines. Because I've protected this. Now one of those other things I need to warn you guys about is this is painted with lacquer. This has been primed with lacquer. So the bare plastic has been protected to a degree. Now I say protected to a degree because um, this stuff and enamel products uh, tend to make the pl bare plastic brittle. So if you've ever like, you know, started to wipe down or started to use some of this product heavily on, on bare plastic, you might weaken the plastic to the point that when you start assembling things, it tend, it might crumble. So be warned that when you are doing this, you should protect the, the bare plastic with at least a blacker clear coat or an, an uh, uh, acrylic-based uh, alcohol or water-based solution that's cured um, over the bare plastic. You don't want to run this over bare plastic. <clears throat> Funny that I'm using that reference for building a bear guy. <laughs> Boom pop. So let's see here. There are a couple of panel lines or lines along the top of this. So let's go ahead and do that. And I said this is going to be a short video because I'm just going to quickly demo this and not do the entire bloody kit. But we have time. I'm trying to do this in a way that you guys can see what's going on here. Hopefully my lighting is decent enough that this sort of makes sense. At this point, I'm just not going to care. I'm just, I'm just going to wipe this whole piece like so. This looks pretty messy, but this will... This will illustrate the idea of this technique. That's pretty messy there. So let's see where else can I, there's some panel or some lining in here that I could do. This one I'm going to take a little bit more care with because it's going to be a little hard to get into some of those areas. So what I'm doing is I'm just 
barely touching the edge of that plastic where that line is. And I'm not even adding more paint to the brush, or not that often. And it's filling up nicely. Now here, there's also this piece that I could kind of drop. And you can see that it's lining itself fairly nicely. It's going to run the edges. This is a cool technique to just, you know, once you get the hang of the whole, pro the whole process of prepping your part for this, this becomes very, very easy. Whoops. About a little messy sometimes if you have shaky hands like I do. See how I messed up there? But even that I messed up, I can take a quick little Q-tip. Kind of. Pick off most of that excess there. Like so. I'm going to let the rest of this kind of dry for a little bit while I uh, wait for uh, go on to the next part. So let's see here. This is a scratch built piece I made. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, there's a little bit of, there's some vents and and detail stuff that I can just run the panel lines through. And this will help accentuate everything I did. Now, the original paint for some of these areas were hand brushed with uh, enamel paints. Now, this technique won't work if you're running this against enamel paints because as soon as you go to wipe away the excess, you might just destroy the paint that's underneath. So between that enamel paint layer and this is a lacquer clear coat. So I've given it enough time for this paint to dry and then I've clear coated it and I've given it enough time that this clear coat will dry so that right now I could go ahead and panel line this and not worry about destroying that paint. Now, another thing you need to worry about when you're panel lining is if you put decals on there, or as some of our other friends would say, decals, um, you, have, you should absolutely clear coat them first to protect them from the panel lines. Now, there's always the question of what do I do first? Do I do panel lines or do I do the, the decals first? I always tend to do decals first because sometimes you have panel lines that run or decals that run over panel lines and you want the panel lines wash to kind of run over, you know, the decal actually. Now, problem that I've run into in the past is if you have um, not – properly clear coated this and you start running the enamel or the the cleanup process over the the um the decals this will erase the decal uh, uh, um ink so you could potentially run into all sorts of fun little problems if you don't first protect everything but for this, I'm just going to, I mean, the idea that this is a wash is because you're kind of washing this with the, with the enamel, and it's very, very thin. It's very, it's, it's, uh, very water-like, or um, uh, the consistency is, you know, close to something watery so that this runs along the lines and whatnot. So... Again, the idea that this is a wash because you're going to 
clean up the excess. So hopefully for some of you guys out there that have not tried this before, this will help demystify this whole process. It's not overly hard to do. It's just you need to have the correct preparation done. Otherwise, you know, this could go really bad. Unless that's the effect you're kind of going for. So now, now that I have done a couple of pieces, I could go back to this, uh, the first, you know, the bear guy chest I did earlier, and I'm just gonna load up my piece of paper, uh, paper towel with a little bit of lighter fluid, like so. And as I did in the start of this video, I'm just gonna run this along or across the edges of the, the panel lines. And you see that it's starting to get cleaned up. Now, another side effect you might have is once you start getting really dirty on this uh, paper towel, you'll start getting some streaking. Now, sure, that's great if that's the effect you're going for. But if you want a very clean surface, you know, switch over to the other side, add a little bit more um, lighter fluid, and run it cleanly so that you wipe away all the excess. And you can see how clean those panel lines are now. That really accentuates some of these detail parts that are, you know, uh, or your detailed panel lines. <clears throat> now let's go over to this headpiece that, you know, I made a serious uh, mess with what I'm doing. So I'm just going to wipe across like this. You see the streaking that happens? So, again, make sure you have a... Oh, so get a little bit. And clean up the excess. Now, if you do let this dry a little bit, this the cleanup would be some, somewhat easier because you're not picking up all the panel line that's inside. So you see that those panel lines have been done. It's, it's a lot cleaner than earlier when I just slapped it on. Now I didn't do the top piece, so I might as well run this along. Now again, I did I did say earlier that you can be as messy as you want, but with being as messy as you want, that's just more cleanup you have to do. If you want to take some care and take a little practice in being clean about this, uh, stare your hands. The process will take a little longer, but um, you get a your cleanup process is a lot quicker and a lot simpler. So I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up this this piece here. So earlier, I just went nuts and wiped wiped this or uh, applied panel lines to that all over the place. So I'm going to start off with another cleaner section. Apply a little bit more of the lighter fluid. Take out the stick so I can run it across this. So again, I'm running across the panel lines. So you can see the difference between the two pieces, hopefully, uh, versus this piece. You see where the panel lines are are, are very clean, and I, I haven't, you know, the paint is showing through there. So I'm getting rid of the excess paint from when I just madly 
you know, apply that panel line wash. Again, I'm using the paint properties to help out um, so that this is not affecting the bottom layer because I've clear coated it with the their gloss that's lacquer based and not enamel based. Now, when I first learned this technique, I tried this with a acrylic based uh, product and I tried using acrylic and then uh, what ended up happening is I just wiped all the paint I did off. So you can see how that has changed. You can see that panel lines are on there and it's been cleaned up considerably. Now, hopefully my fingers aren't dirty and I'm not, you know, uh, making fingerprints all over this place. So for some of the detail areas, you I usually use a Q-tip, like these fine areas that are indented, and just run that carefully across. And that will clean up those areas very easily. You see the Q-tips a little dirty now, and you see this piece has been nicely panel lined. You can do that all the way up here as well with the Q-tip. The Q-tip's starting, starting to get a little dirty, so I'm going to make sure I get a cleaner paper towel going on here. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the excess here. And there you have that part is done. Now I've gone ahead and, you know, just here applied uh, panel lines to a few areas, cleaned up, cleaned them up pretty quickly. As well, you see that the decals weren't damaged when I did this. I generally try to stay away from wiping a crop directly on the decals, even though they've been uh, protected. Uh, keep in mind, um, if you're spraying, with your, if you're using an airbrush, these layers of protection are very, very thin. So um, it's one of those things that, yeah, it's protected, but uh, still take care when you're doing this process of, you know, panel lines. So this has been a quick little demonstration uh, live broadcast, and uh, hopefully you guys got a little bit of uh, uh, demystified about this whole process. Uh, there's tons and tons and tons of videos online about the you know about this technique and even how to use this same type of technique to do a reverse wash to bring out details hidden under a enamel paint so um the using these two different properties of the paint you could do all sorts of you know cool little tricks um and it comes out very, very cleanly. So thanks for watching, guys. And um, we'll do another quick little short broadcast uh, in the future when I think of something as I continue building this uh, this uh, Bear Guy kit. So this is what I still have to keep panel lining. So uh, as opposed to just boring you guys with uh, this, and I could just not talk and focus on, you know, paneling this guy up. Um, that's all she wrote. So thanks again, guys. And I'll talk to you guys later. Ah, okay. I'm going to hang out for a little bit because I just saw someone, uh, M. Larson asked the question. So I've been wondering how well it would work over light colors. I have a stormtrooper minis to line so i'm sure you probably saw that this is done over white and the, the panel line so long as it is protected you can do this over any color now i'm using a black panel line wash 
right? This is enamel black. So if you're painting something that's really, really dark, like you know this, and you want to panel line it, a nice technique is to use a light panel line color. Uh, I can use silver here. Uh, I can use gold. So you, instead of black lines running through here, um, I'll have gold lines running through here. So that also you know, is a technique of accentuating some of those lines. So you get a different effect. So you don't necessarily have to use black as your panel lining. You'll notice that Tamiya will sell you this in, multi in a multitude of colors. Um, you can create your own. If you have spare bottles, it's a lot cheaper to create your own as, you know, with anything else. So you can create whatever color panel line wash you want that fits the project that you're working on. So if you're using a darker tone of, uh, of, of kit or painted kit and you want, you know, maybe blue lines or you want a red line, again, enamel paint, mix it up. You know, you probably won't find panel lines in fluorescent pink or even, you know, bright gold. So create your own. And then you can line your kits with whatever color you want and have those accent lines uh, brought out by those colors. So hopefully that answers his questions. He said, yep, and okay, that prolonged this ever so slightly. And again, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys around next time around. Laters.